This video demonstrates advanced features of the query analyzer. Let's write a simple select star query. Autocomplete is assisting us here. Now execute the query. It generates grid and pivot grid results. We can also generate other types of results like text, text history, DPMS output, form, execution plan, and client statistics. For example, to generate the client statistic output, click on the icon and execute the query once again. Client statistics output is generated. It displays detailed statistics on the execution of the script or the statement. Let's go to the grid and see how we can perform various operations on the result set. We can apply sorting or can change the position of the columns by clicking on the column header. Further, use the quick filter box to search any record from the result set. It displays record as we type. Let's clear this box and see how we can copy records from the result set. For this, we'll edit the query. Let's select column customer name. Now go to the result pane. Select few records using the control key. Right click on any selected record, click paste to window and then click in values. Selected records appear in the query. Let's execute this to see the result. Further, we can edit queries using morph to delimited list. For this, we'll write a simple select star query on the same table export. Let's select column territory. We'll now copy few records from a notepad file. Select the records, right click on it and click copy. Go to the editor pane and paste the selection. Now to edit the query, select the part of the query and go to automate menu. Click Morph to Delimited List. In the Separated List dialog box, check Include Line Feeds as a delimiter. Provide the code identifier. Enter the leading and the trailing enclosures and click OK. The query is edited successfully. We'll now see how we can speed up our query formation using various options in the Automate menu. Click Introduce Insert Statement and it generates the insert statement automatically. We'll need to provide a table name in which we want to insert the record. Now for the column names, go to Automate menu and click Introduce Columns. Column names are added in the query. For inserting values, again go to Automate menu and click Introduce Values tabs. This helps us in realizing the data type of the columns. Similarly, we can make use of update, delete, and select statements to generate their statements automatically. With Query Analyzer, we can also create charts. For this, we'll again write a select star query. Let's select table payment. We'll execute the query using a go separator. Select the query and execute it. Go to the pivot grid tab. We'll create a pivot by dragging table columns into pivot rows and columns. Click Show Charts to display a chart from the pivot. Chart appears in the view area. Control drag to move the chart. Scroll will out or shift drag to zoom in. Left click and drag to spin the chart. Further, use chart options to customize the chart. For example, to change the data depth, click data and then change the depth size. Click OK. The change is reflected instantly. This concludes the demonstration of the advanced features of the query analyzer.